everyone welcome back to my colorful country life today i thought we'd do a video showing you my coloring book collection as well as every page i've ever colored um having said that though i'm only going to go through actual books and not through uh pdfs now my coloring collection is not as large as some as i've only been coloring properly for about two years however before that i did color in my Joanna Bassford books with my Triplus Fine Liners that I used to block colour with before I discovered that there are other artists out there and before I ever picked up a coloured pencil again for the first time as an adult. So although my collection isn't massive, I am aware that I have more books than I could ever complete in my lifetime, but they're worse things to be addicted to, right? Anyway, let's jump in and get started. What better way to get started than with Kirby Roseanne's books? Um, as you all know, I am obsessed with Kirby, and this is his new book, Fragile World, Colour Nature's Wonders. Now, I'm not going to show you full flip-throughs of all the books. Um, if you do want to see a flip-through and it's not already up on my channel, just uh, leave me a comment down below and I'll have a look and see if I can get a video up for you. Now, I've only completed one page so far in this book, and it's the mandrel page here, and that was coloured with Prismacolor pencils. I really loved colouring that page. And my next page, or the next page, my son's actually picked this out for me, which is the Galapagos penguin. So he knows I'm obsessed with penguins. They're my favourite animal. Um, this book has been really interesting to colour in. So I've been spending a lot of time on Pinterest and YouTube and looking up pictures of the animals and the habitats and trying to figure out what the best way to colour it to make it look as realistic as possible, even though none of my colouring is ever hyper-realistic, but to get it somewhat similar would be great. So I've been looking up the Galapagos penguins and their habitats, so um, the different coral reefs, what colours to colour it. So this may be our next page, if I listen to my son. <laughs> and um, there is a flip through of this book up on my channel. Next up we have Colour Morphia. Now this is a collection of all of Kirby's um, Morphia books, his favourite pictures from all of his Morphia books. This is actually the US edition here. Um, and inside he has put in a selection of colourists um, pages here. Now I have coloured a couple of pages in this book. This one here, this underwater city of Atlantis. This was coloured with a mix of polychromos and prismacolors, and it took forever to colour. Um, the running with the hairs. This one is polychromos, I believe. The background might be, might be prismacolors, but I believe the rest was polychromos are coloured. So next up we have Geomorphia. This is actually one of my favourite Kirby books in the Morphia series. And it is quite smaller than his, quite thinner I should say, than his usual books. Um, I've done quite a few pages in this one I believe. We have the dinosaur skull. Prismacolor pencils that was. Uh, the kraken, the octopus that was also Prismacolors. Um, I still remember colouring this page when the bushfires were on uh, Christmas 2019. Another one, also Prismacolors. There's a lot of Prismacolors in here. Another Prismacolor one. I think that's it. Okay, next up we have Mythomorphia, my favourite in the Morphia series. I haven't coloured in this anywhere near as much as I would like to. In fact, I've barely coloured in it and I'm desperate to colour in this one. But being so busy with Worlds Within Worlds and now Fragile World, I will colour in some more. I've actually marked some that I really want to colour in as well. Now this, I've got both the US and the UK edition here. The US has the yellow writing and the UK has the red writing. Now... I much prefer UK editions of Kirby's books, always have. This is one of the reasons. Check out that spine. I've only coloured one page in this book and my spine's already looking destroyed. Um, the page is 
a goblin page here which we did a color along um, this is up on the channel I really need to fi finish the other half but I think what I'm deciding to do is recreate it in the UK edition and I will color both sides then because I much prefer this book now I have colored another page in here somewhere ah there we go there we go the jackalope and that was Prismacolor pencils and you can see my little post-it notes here marking um, the pages that I really want to color so we might be seeing I love this page I really love this page so we might see a color along on this one in the near future um, I've also got marked where are we the gnomes I love that page too I love a lot of these pages actually um, oh, this was another one my son wanted me to do. So one day, hopefully we will get some more um, coloured in this book this year. Next we have Phantom Morphia. Now I'm actually not a huge fan of this book at all. I think this is my least favourite Kirby book. Again, it's a skinny one like Geomorphia. I have got a page marked here um, that I might want to colour one day if you want to see a color along of that one um yeah i just i found this book it looks a little bit rushed to me and there are a couple of good pictures in here but nothing that really calls out to me next up we've got anamorphia i haven't colored any pages in this book yet either i have got a couple marked that i would like to do there are a lot of doodles um, in this book i think this is one of his most doodly books <laughs> is that even a word um and this one as well so i will get around to coloring something just the doodles do put me off a little bit i much prefer the direction of his new books Next is Wonder Morphia. Now this is a collection of um, Phantom Morphia and Geomorphia merged together. Um, now I do have both of those books, but I bought this one anyway just because it's Kirby and I wanted the full collection and um, yeah, haven't coloured anything in this one as of yet. And I do have a flip through of this book up on the channel. And last but not least, we have Worlds Within Worlds, one of my most coloured in books and my absolute favourite ever Kirby book. Now, every page that I've coloured in this book, bar one, has a colour along to it. Now, one page I did colour before I started doing the YouTube videos, so I, might rec I do have a second copy of this book, so I might recreate that page at the end in the new book. Okay, I'll just do a quick flip through of what we've coloured. That's the title page. Our moon and the turtle. And this is all Prismacolors. This whole book will be coloured with Prismacolor pencils. I think we're about halfway done now. This one took Forever, forever and ever and ever. <laughs> this one's one of my favourites, I think. Still a fair few left to go. Once I finish this book, it'll actually be the first book I've ever finished. This is the page I coloured without um, doing a YouTube video on it. So this was before I started YouTube. Um, I really actually, I'm not a big fan of this page. I knew what look I was coming for and I actually did a different background and it didn't work out. So I just coloured it over with purple Bosca. But I will do it again um, when I get a chance. 
possibly at the end when we finish the rest of the book. So I will do a colour on completely different to this because I don't like this page. <laughs> I love doing these fish. Again, this is all Prismacolor pencils. I love this page too. And that one. Now, I have a second copy of this book because when I filmed this video, as some of you might be aware, I accidentally deleted the first part of this video, so I had to recreate that in um, another book for you guys. And this is the first page I ever coloured in uh, Worlds Within Worlds. My little paper here to show me what we've done and how many more we have to go. There's just way too many white spaces on there. We will get that fill filled hopefully before Kirby releases his next book next February uh, Mythic World so, and yeah, like I said oh, wrong book where is it yeah. the second copy of Lulz where is it yeah that was me recreating part one of the video since I um, deleted it Okay, next we have the Romantic Country, a series of books by Eerie. This is the first one. And definitely should have marked these pages. I have coloured one in here and I will find it. Oh, it's right there. Um, I think this was a mix of Prismas and Polychromos, if I remember correctly. And I think that's the only one I've coloured in here. Next we have the second tale in the Romantic Country series and I've only done one page in this book as well. Um, Manon's Flowers, this is oh, a mixture of polychromos, prismacolors and even my first attempt at um, ink tents in the background which didn't work out, oh and down here too, it didn't work out as well as I was hoping for. I love these books here. All of them, all these pictures are drawn with a ink dipped toothpick. I've put a few mark, bookmarks as well for pages that I'd like to colour one day. This is really showing me how much I need to colour in my existing books. Lastly, we have the third tale in the Romantic Country series by Eerie. And the page I coloured is closer to the front. It was one of the Christmas pages. I think I coloured it last year. And this one is coloured all with polychromos. And I think, actually, I think I did the, the bottom. I think I did that with Prismacolors. But the tree and the letterbox and the people, that's all done with polychromos. So, I love this page. One of my favourite pages in this book. So many beautiful pages, actually. I will get around to colouring some more. If you want to see some colour alongs in these books, let me know. Next, we have some books by Clara Markova. This is Fairy Celebrations. Now, these are hard to get a hold of here in Australia and so expensive as well. They end up costing, with shipping, I think they end up costing close to $100 per book. Um, this one here, I tried to somewhat mimic the colours of the cover page and this was coloured with polychromos and 
I used um, Calero paints on here as well. Same as this one with polychromos to match. And this little Red Riding Hood inspired page was with Prismacolors. And the house on the legs. Um, also with Prismacolors. I love Clara's books. I think after Kirby, Clara has to be my favourite colouring book artist. This is Clara Markova's newest book, Fairy Touch of Magic. And I haven't had a chance to get started in this book yet, but there's some gorgeous pictures in here. I really want to colour. I really want to get Clara's um, first two books as well, but I probably should actually colour in the ones I've got before I go buying more. Here are the I Believe in Fairies postcards by Clara Markova. There's 32 colouring postcards in here and um, I haven't had a chance to colour in these yet either. So there's some really cute illustrations. Next we've got Hannah Carlson's Daydreams. I've got all of Hannah's books except for um, her compilation book which is uh, Gould Corn. I'm not sure how to pronounce that properly. Um, and her new book which is coming out I think in August or next month. Um, but August is the English edition and that's Tales from the Forest Kingdom. The next in her Tales from book. So this is my... Um, Hang on, there's a few in here. This one here, this is me trying out a muted palette. And I think I used, um, the background's pastels. But I think I used a mix of polychromos and prismacolors on this page. Oh, and the one behind it was um, my little frog here. For the rainy day. That was... I think it's it's all polychromos, but I think the background might be Prismacolor. Now, I'm pretty sure there's another one in here. I've got something bookmarked. What have I got bookmarked? In the snail house. Um, I thought there was another one. Did I just see it? I'm sure there's another one I've done in here. Ah, there we go. I knew there was another one. This is my first attempt at colouring skin and a bit of a fail, but again, um, all polychromos. Next, we've got Spirit Animals by Hannah Carlson. Um, this used to be one of my favourite books, and I just love the concept of it, but I think... I've only managed to colour these two pages. I will colour more. I keep saying that, but I will. I need to fill some of these books up. Next is Seasons by Hannah Carlson. Now I've got one completed page here, which is the Books Belong To page, although I haven't written my name on it yet. Um, and I do have another one here that I've started. So here is a work in progress. I don't have too many work in progresses. I try to finish my pages as I go. I don't like leaving things incomplete unless it's something that I really don't like and don't think I'm ever going to get completed. Next is Magical Dawn by Hannah Carlson. Now there's only one page completed. Yeah, that must be it. These flowers um, and a pastel background. It's a very pale pink pastel background. I'm not sure if you can see that on camera. Um, 
this was coloured with Prismacolors and it was my attempt at doing some muted tones. I went through a phase where I decided I didn't like all my bright colours and I wanted to try muted. But um, I think bright is my natural um, way to colour. Next we have Summer Nights by Hannah Carlson. And I think there's only, is a see one there this is the very first page I ever colored in a Hannah Carlson book and my very first attempt at a bokeh type of background which does not translate whatsoever and this was colored with Prismacolors but also it's got a bit of um gold Calero paint on there as well I think that might be the only one I've colored in this book Yeah. And we also have Jewelry Box by Hannah Carlson. And I've only completed one page in this book as well. And that's the little cobweb here. I'm quite proud of this page. I quite like it. Again, there's so many beautiful pictures. I quite like that one. Now this is Tales from the Midnight Masquerade, which is the first in the Tales from series by Hannah Carlson and her second book. Like I said earlier, it'll be out in March, but the English edition will be available from um, August this year. And I've coloured one. This time, I really want to colour that one. There's the one I've coloured here, and this was... Oh, Prismacolor Pencils. Completely coloured with Prismacolor pencils. My attempt at muted tones as well. Once again. Next we have a couple of Maria Trolls books. This is Nightfall. I actually haven't coloured in any of her books. They are some nice pictures, but um, not really my style. I will have to colour something in this book or um, pass it on to someone maybe. And this is Twilight Garden by Maria Troll. This is the artist's edition so you can um, actually pull these pages out and frame them. But oh, it's very hard to flip. I haven't coloured anything in here yet myself now this is the ink house by Rory Dobner I am dying to color in this book let me know if you want to see some color alongs because I haven't started in it but this is one book I'd really like to finish as well um, too much to colour, too little time. But this book is gorgeous. It actually looks beautiful as it is, not even coloured. But I actually can't wait to get stuck in and colour. I think this is the first page I might colour. Freddy Foxglove. It's a beautiful book. Now this is Dreams of Dragons and Dragon Kin, and it's by Raven Thielen. I haven't yet coloured in this book yet. Um, very similar type of book to Jasmine Becker Griffith, but it's all dragons. Uh, this book was gifted to me by the lovely Elizabeth, who is here on the channel and in our group. And I've just done a flip through, a full flip through for um, the channel of this book. 
Speaking of Jasmine Becker Griffith, this is her colouring book, Jasmine Becker Griffith, A Fantasy Art and Adventure. And I have coloured in here the Clockwork Dragonling. And this is all Prismacolor pencils. A lot of really cute pages in here. I love how um, Jasmine draws her little faces. I need to get some more of her books. Actually, I don't. I need to colour in the ones I've got. <laughs> Next, we have Beauty of Horror, Tricks and Treats by Alan Robert. This is a Halloween special. Um, this here was my first attempt at trying out Neo Colours. Um, trying to get the hang of them. I'm still trying to get the hang of them. I need to do a bit more practice. And I've coloured one page in here which is The Witch on a Broomstick, and this is with Prismacolor pencils. This is Beauty of Horror, the first book by Alan Roberts, and I haven't had a chance to colour in this one yet. I know this isn't to everybody's taste and style, let me know down below if you um if you like the Alan Robert the Beauty of Horror books. And this is Beauty of Horror 4, the creature feature by Alan Robert. So this is the latest one that he's brought out. He has actually just released the pre-order for Beauty of Horror 5, Haunt of Fame. Um it's got like pop culture legends in there. It's got the Golden Girls, things like that. So I'm really excited to see that one as well when it comes out. This one, I've only coloured one page. I think I missed it. And it was the uh, Stranger Things page. But this is all um, different pictures based on different horror movies. I think I've got a flip through of this on the channel as well. Next we have the Rita Berman books. I'm not even going to try and pronounce the name of this because I will completely butcher it. But this is the um, Summer book. And I have coloured one in here. These are really cute. If you like colouring with bright, vibrant colours, I think these books are awesome for them. And if you have a look at Rita Berman's page, she, she shares some of her own colouring. And it's just amazing. Another one here by Rita Berman, and I think this is Spring. So she's got one on all seasons, and I think there's a, a land and an underwater one. Um, again, some really cute detailed pictures in here to colour. And my last Rita Berman book, this is the... Uh, land based one and I haven't had a chance to colour in this but I think it's actually my favourite of her books that's really cute that's a nice one too this is Millie Marotta's Woodland Wild and I haven't coloured in this book at all. I really should dive in and give it a go. But when I look at all the different details, all the different lines, I just, I look at it and think, oh, I don't know where to start. And I put it, put it back away. But I really should just give it a go and take my own advice that I give to people regarding Kirby's books and just dive in and um, colour a page. If you have a look, if you're in our Facebook group, you'll see... Um, one of the people in the group, Toby, he colours the most amazing pages from Millie Marauder's books. And this is the pocket edition of Millie Marauder's Animal Kingdom. This is really cute and small, but those details are even tinier. Look at that. I think this has to be um, a fine liner type of book. I'm trying to get in there and colour. All those little details, very intricate. I will colour in it one day. 
Next I've got the Creative Haven Country Christmas Colouring Book and this is by Teresa Goodridge and I have coloured it one page. This is with Prismacolors and I have got stickles on there. But you can see my white Posca has the red Prismacolor has um, bled through the white Posca. I love Teresa's rooms. The illustrations are so beautiful and detailed. I just haven't had enough time to colour them, but they are really gorgeous pictures. Another Creative Haven book by Teresa Goodrich. This is Country Charm. Again, I haven't coloured in it, but I really want to. It has some... I love this page. This is probably my favourite page in the book. And look, these are perforated, so you can actually um, pull them out when you've coloured them and gift them or frame them. But um, I, I do love this page. I will colour in it. I keep saying that, but you know, I'm focused on Worlds Within Worlds at the moment. That's my main focus. And once that's completed... We will colour in lots of different artists, as well as Kirby still, of course. I've got to get that myth Mythomorphia going. Okay, so that was Teresa Goodridge's Country Charm. Next we have the Relax With Art Holiday Specials. This is the Steampunk in Victorian, um, a colouring journey book, and I haven't coloured in it yet. These ones I actually pick up at my um, local news agents here. Paper is quite thin, so probably not the best for water mediums. Um, but they do have some really cute pictures. The next one is also a Relax Without Holiday Special. This is Transportation, a colouring journey. Again, not coloured in it yet. But look at these pages. Some of these illustrations are really pretty and like i said i picked it up from my local news agents next up i've got um storybook besties by sherry baldy and um, i haven't colored in this book yet so there's 50 coloring pages but they're doubled up so two of each cute I think this would be good for practicing um, coloring in skin and coloring in faces it is very thin paper but it is single-sided so you can pull a page out and color it if you want to use water mediums This one is the pocket edition of Sherry Baldy, My Besties, Under the Sea Mermaid's Colouring Book. Again, 50 pages and they're doubled, so really 25 different images. They're only really small. I don't know if I ever will colour in this book. I'm not a huge fan of the illustrations. And I've just found a Kirby book that I've missed out. This is Anamorphia Sea and Sky. So it's a selection of Kirby's pictures from Anamorphia and the pages are removable and can be frames. And they're just smaller size pictures from his Anamorphia book. That's cute. Now I've got a couple of the Colour in Heaven Australia books. I am not a subscriber to Colour in Heaven. I just don't have the time to colour that many. I don't have time to colour the books that I've got, let alone another one coming in every month. Um, I did buy this one because it is um, Australia themed and some money is going to uh, Australia charity. And I've marked here a couple of pages that I wanted to colour. So this is by Jash Lee. And it's called Mother Nature. And I think it looks like it's based on the bushfires. You've got the fire behind you and the kangaroo and her joey. 
and that one really called to me. So the bushfires did affect us and um, my parents were caught right in the middle of it. So that's one I really like to colour. And another Jash Lee, Pray for Australia. These are beautiful pictures and I definitely will colour these eventually. So this is the Gothic Alchemy edition of the Colour in Heaven magazine. Um, I bought this because it sounded like it was going to be my style of pictures. I love all that sort of fantasy um, drawings, but it's a grayscale. So I'm not quite fond of grayscale, but I will, I will give it a go. This is The Flower Year by Layla Dooley. Now, um, this is a new book I just got. It was gifted to me by Elizabeth. So that's my reasoning for not colouring in it yet. It's new. But most people have probably seen this book. Beautiful pictures of flowers. Now, this is one of the books in the Nice Little Town series. It might actually even be the first book in the series. Um, it's the only book in the Nice Little Town series I have, but I actually really do love the illustrations in these books. And this is by Tanya uh, Bogema. And I have a uh, work in progress. I think this is only my, my second whip so far, so I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Actually, no, I've got a third. This was... Um, me just practicing in the back of the book on this Halloween page just trying to practice a background gradient color and it didn't work out so I left it now next we've got the language of flowers coloring book this book is only available in Australia and New Zealand I think Kmart might sell it and QBD books this book was actually gifted to me from Hinkler and I've coloured one page so far, which is the carnation page. So it's basically each double page is a different flower and it tells you some information on those flowers. We've got Masha's Christmas by Masha Vandenberg. And I um, actually won this in a competition and I haven't yet had a chance to colour in it, but I really want to because I love her books. And there is one page that I really want to colour. This one here. I love that page. Next Christmas or Christmas in July, maybe. Some really pretty illustrations in here. This is Mythographic Colour and Discover Paradise by Fabiana Atanasio. And I do have a full flip through review of this book up on the channel. It is not my most favourite book. Um, this is what I've marked that I would like to colour. It has a lot of tiny details, which I do actually quite like tiny details, but these ones are super tiny and so many different hidden objects. I really despise hidden objects. And if you have a look, I mean, we've got a belt, we've got a telephone, a hamburger, a coat hanger, just a, a, a pin a rolling pin and it's just how are we how am I supposed to hide these things <laughs> they're hidden objects how can I hide them in the picture so I just I will color one of these pages I like the concept but I just don't like the hidden objects if it didn't have the hidden objects I would like it more that's not a bad page but look again we've got a corkscrew and a tennis racket and some fries a microphone yeah. Next is Fairy Tales Coloring Book by Tomoko Toshiro. This is a beautiful book that I am yet to colour in. Love the style. Here's another book by a Japanese illustrator. This is Rhapsody in the Forest and another gorgeous book I am yet to colour in. So many beautiful details. A 
that's a really nice page for Christmas. Next is A Colouring Book of Shadows, A Witch Life by Amy Sassari. I actually love this book and I've not long got it so I haven't coloured in it yet but I'm dying to. It's basically um, like a type of, it's basically a bit of a spell book um, with lots of colouring pages. It is thin paper so possibly not the best with watercolours. A really cool book. And this is one of the Blue Star colouring books. This is Whipped, um, illustrated by Rudy Fig. And now this book's got a lot of um, darker black lines, which I'm not a huge fan of the dark black lines, but the pages are super cute. This book is Spirit of Wilderness, an inspirational quotes colouring book for nature lovers and it's illustrated by a forest diver. They're all single-sided pages in here. Um, I love all things Mother Nature, so this is right up my alley. Very pretty illustrations. And another book illustrated by Forest Diver. This is The Hidden Spirits of the Enchanted Forest. Again, my kind of colouring book. Love the images in here. This is A Whimsy Girl's Christmas by Hannah Lynn. Now, there's each page there is double and the images are really cute. I haven't coloured in this book yet. Um, again, it does have the thick black lines that I'm not too fond of. But the illustrations are super cute. Another good one for Christmas. Next we have Keep the Faith by Sassy Colouring or Sashka Cook. This one is extra special to me because I got to um, colour the cover of this book. It's quite thick. Lots of illustrations in here. And it is a faith based colouring book. Here we have Anastasia Calderova's Serenity. Um, this is the only book of Anastasia's that I have and I haven't coloured in it yet but I have marked something that I would like to colour. Oh, a couple of ones that I'd like to colour. Look at the face, look at the details. Her illustrations are awesome. Very talented lady. There's another one I like to colour. Beautiful book. This is Exploratorium, a Search and Colour Mission by Leigh Melendres. Um, now this one reminds me of Kirby Style. Um, it's got all the hidden objects at the back that you have to find. Um, it has the thick black lines, not a fan once again, but um, the images are really cool. So I really do, I haven't coloured anything in it yet, but I, I will. I really do like the the style. I just wish they were, the, the lines were less black, less thick. This one is Everyday Magic, the Artist Edition, and it's by Dia Lenahan. And this one's a little bit different to most of my books, as you can actually, it's got a little clip-on cover. You can pull it off and all the pages are actually separate in there. And I have coloured a page in here. It was actually my first time ever colouring fur. And if you look at this compared to, where is it? Compared to my Kirby pictures, you will see how far my colouring has come. Let me just 
there I think I see it my beautiful cat this is my first time coloring fur and um, I've definitely improved since then but this book has some really sweet pages in here Next we have Fairy Tales by Emily Lederhall Oberg. Now, this book isn't really my style. I bought it because there was a lot of hype around this book and I did attempt to colour one in when I very first started colouring in pencils. And it has been a whip for about two years now and I probably will never finish it because one, I don't like the colours I used and two, look at that blending. I don't know if I'll be able to. The blue book's not too bad. I'm not a big fan of this one. I just was trying my own little color combinations out there and I didn't know what I was doing. And I think I was even using a blender pencil there because I wasn't quite sure how to blend properly. The pictures are quite cute, but um, not really my style of coloring. I do know a lot of people love this book though. Here we've got Gnomes in the Neighbourhood by Denise, is it Denise Klett? I actually love this book. I've got this page marked to colour. Um, and there's just way too many to choose from in here. So many really cute pictures. Honestly, look at that. How cute is it? I haven't had any coloured in this yet. That one, oh, I really like that actually. That's super cute. I like that one too. That's a good one for Christmas. I, I, I really like this book. I think I have I got a. Oh, I don't know. I might not have a flip through actually. There are plenty of flip throughs on the on the internet though. If you have a look, but I really do like this book. This one here is by Tomislav Tomic and his books are also super hard to get here in Australia and super expensive as well um, with freight. I, I have marked something here to colour the big sunflower here. Love the details in his artwork. That's a really cool picture too. I actually really like this book that's got a lot of detail in it can you see all those details last but not least we have Joanna Basford books this is world of flowers this is the first book I ever used colored pencil in so this is my learning book and I'll show you through it now there are a few whips in here I think um, I have colored quite a lot in this book um, Joanna Basford was the first coloring books that I ever bought as I think most people um, can say the same so this is Prismacolors my book belongs to Paige Prismacolors as well. Um, my first attempt at a background, I think, here. Yeah, and the blending is pretty poor. That flower's pretty cute, though. First double page. I'm actually quite proud of this book, being that it, you know, it is my first ever attempt at coloured pencils. Um... I did have another one, Prismacolors again. I think it's all Prismacolors in this book, actually. This one here, I think I showed you a while ago in another video. I had done this bug and it was in bright, like purple, orange, yellow. It was in. I didn't like it at all and I left this page, put it aside. I actually put the whole book aside afterwards because I thought, that's it, I've ruined the book, put it away. But I have come back to it and did my best to erase as much of the bug as I could, but I had to use darker, similar tone colours to go over it um, as best as I could to mask the colour underneath because I couldn't erase it completely. But this is my attempt at covering up 
what was a mistake and I actually don't mind how it's turned out so far but it is still a whip this is the page I'm most proud of and it's not the best colored page but I designed that entire background myself drew it all in myself these beautiful trees even the sign um, here it's as far as that way and it's got SSDGM which is actually a nod to one of my favorite true crime podcasts down the bottom and I had no idea about blending when I first colored this I think it's actually my first page ever colored with pencils so I'm pretty proud of it because I think I did quite a good job considering I had no idea what I was doing color combos any of that information I just didn't have a clue Another one where I did the, br the brick wall in the background, clearly very amateurish here. You can still see the pencils, the pencil marks here, but I'm still quite proud of that page. I really like him. This one, I made this one so busy. I added in the background, the wallpaper, and I think that floor has even been added in by me. very very busy there's a lot going on here even though I used the same colors all the way through there's just a lot going on um, this one here I actually had like a um I think it was like a rainbow sunset background behind it and it was just too much so I end up going over it with black Posca another whip This one, I wasn't too happy with the colours that I chose, but I think it turned out okay in the end. Prisma colours as well. I really like that page. I love this one. Prisma colours and black Bosca background that was. This one, um, I turned it into a tree, so that was my little illustration there. I can't draw. I can't draw, but I'm quite happy with how I drew that. <laughs> else? Oh, I love this butterfly. I love that butterfly. That was Prismacolors and then black Posca as well. And I tried to use a white Posca to white out the lines of the flowers in the background to try and make it look a bit 3D and have the butterfly stand out. This one I quite like because most people I had a big fan of colouring skulls and I wanted to make it look really pretty and I added the um, Dia de los Muertos, Dia de los Muertos, Day of the Dead <laughs> um, in the background and I also added in some of my own butterflies as well. I don't know if I added all of those butterflies actually. I think they might all be mine. I can't even remember what the original page looked like. Hmm. Uh. And oh, that was me um, showing someone how to draw a bokeh background using that as my test page. And the double pull out, I've coloured the rocks and the sky, and that's about it. So I actually don't have too much to go to finish that book, so one day maybe I will finish it. Next, I've got Lost Ocean, and this is probably my fifth or sixth copy of Lost Ocean. I was colouring them originally with my Triplus Stedler fine liners, just block colouring them in and as I'd finish a book I would then throw the book out and buy a new one and do it again. It was just something I could mindlessly do while I was watching TV at night because I just can't sit still. Um, I don't have any of those copies anymore. I do have some other books I'll show you with my um, block colouring with my Triplus. But this is a newer version of the Lost Ocean that I have gotten. And there's a whip here. I do have one coloured in in this book. Ah, ah, saw it. And I love this page. Here is it. There we go. These are quite um, tiny details in this book. Good for fine liners. Next we've got Joanna's Christmas book and I've got a few. Here's one with me trying to test out some colours for leaves. 
I know I've got at least one finished in here. Oh, that's a um, whip. That's a recent whip, that one. And that one was coloured with polychromos. This is one of my favourite ever pictures that I coloured with Joanna Basford. And this one was coloured with polychromos. And I think maybe the greens might be Prismacolors. And the background is actually Prismacolors as well. I've got another one in here. I know I do because it was my first attempt at a galaxy background. Aha. The snow globe. That one was, what did I use for the background? That wasn't Posca's. I think that was some sort of Sharpie maybe or a Texa. Look, it's all um, smudged around there. It was also my first attempt at colouring snow as well. Next is Enchanted Forest. Now I can see a post-it note there. So that will be marking a whip. But here's one I finished here. Um, polychromos for everything except for the background, which is uh, Prismacolor. This is one of my favorite. This is actually probably, I think, my most liked um, paid uh, picture on Instagram. And this one was colored with polychromos. And the background is Prismacolor. And that was my very first attempt at a muted palette ever. I think that's it, except for that whip. Ah, there it is. This one, I have no idea what I was thinking, where I was going with this page. I really want to colour this page, but I ruined it. And I tried to rub it out. You can see I've tried to rub it out a few times. And... Um, that's my second attempt at a different colour scheme. So I don't know what I'm going to do there. But um, I hate leaving things left unfinished. So I will probably finish it one day. I just don't know what I'm going to do to cover that up. Next we've got Magical Jungle. Now I know I've completed a couple of pages in here. Oh look at that. The glue bindings come undone a little bit. I do this we might see it better there's one this one I added in I added in these mountains and that waterfall and I think I might have added in these little grassy bits here as well I'm pretty sure I did I can't remember what the original picture looked like but I'm pretty sure all this is my own additions in the background and this one is um polychromos again and the water is prismacolor now I know there's ah uh, this one there I really like this page another attempt at muted tones and this one was using uh prismacolors but there's another one I'm sure there's another one I wonder if it was an enchanted forest. Hmm. Next we have How to Draw Inky Wonderland, also by Joanna Basford. Um, not sure how much I've done in this. I know I've got one page completely coloured, which is the Inky Insects page here, um, where a lot of those details were added in by myself. I quite like that page. This is, oh, I think the background is polychromos. The flowers are prismas. And then there's the black Posca and also gold Gliro paint as well. I think that's all I've done in this book, colour-wise. Yeah. Most of the time I spent practising on blank paper. With this book so i really need to do some of the um pictures in here adding my own details and color it in 
Next up, we've got Ivy and the Inky Butterfly by Joanna Basford. And I actually have two copies of this book. This is my most recent copy, which has um, my colouring with coloured pencils. And this copy has my original colours from when it first arrived with my Triplus Stedler fine liners. So I will show you uh, what my colouring used to look like beforehand but I'll show you this one first this book is a bit of a storybook so a little bit different to what Joanna used to do and I have promised my daughter that I will one day finish this for her but I've got a lot to do before I get there my wonder room I'm really proud of this wonder room lots of details and it took a long time to do So we've got here doorway to Enchantia. Oh, I saw a whip. I started this one and then I wasn't too happy with it, so I don't know when I'll get around to finishing that. My double page feast. That's all Prisma colours. Oh, and the background the background was another attempt to use my Neo colour pencils. Oh, I think that's another whip I just saw. Yeah, I do like that page, so I will finish it eventually. And my original copy. So this, like I said, was coloured with Triplus Fine Liners. My very, very first ever colourings. First attempt at the Wonder Room. I was actually in love with that page when I first coloured it. Look at that. So, a bit different to my normal colorings, my current colorings, I should say. I didn't realize how much of this book I'd actually colored. Wow. It looks like it's as far as I got. That looks like it's um, one of the first times I ever coloured a book in order by the looks of things as well. And lastly, we have Secret Garden. This is the miniature edition, and I have coloured a page in here. This one here, and that was coloured with Prismacolor pencils. Um, now, I do have the normal size Secret Garden. Let me just have a look. I think my son has stolen my book. One second. Found it. Yes, it was in my son's room. He's been colouring in this book um, a bit. So this is my original secret garden from when I was colouring in with my fine liners. Something seems to have been bled through or marked on this page. Or maybe I was testing colours. So all with my Triplus fine liners. you get the gist and my son has some colouring in here too I think that was me testing out colour combos when I first got my first set of Prismacolor pencils this is my son's colouring this is also my son's colouring Me testing colour combos. Uh, I think that must probably be me testing colour combos.
I've also got this um, Art Nouveau postcard colouring book and it is watercolour cards. There is no illustrator but it is by Pepin from the Netherlands and here are a few of the pictures. I'll bring it closer so you can see. This was um, a gift from a family member, along with some watercolours, and I haven't coloured in it just yet. And lucky last book, I found this stashed in my son's room as well. This is the Amazing Book of Beasts, the Colour and Discover book. This was gifted to me by Hinkler as well, and I think you can buy this in Kmart here in Australia. Illustrated by Angela Rizza. Um, and it's got all the different creatures and a little bit of information on the opposite sides about those creatures. And I know I've been colouring something in this book. Oh, there we go. That was me using my neon colours, my neon Prisma colours. And I think my son's been colouring something in here too was a eagle or something he was coloring yeah that's my son's coloring in here all right guys i hope you enjoyed that video that was actually um very interesting for myself i thought i had a lot more whips than i do so i'm quite happy with that and there's not too many there for me to complete um I do have a lot of books that I need to colour in more often. Um, like I said, if there's anything that you want to see as a full flip through, let me know down below or if you've seen anything that you would like me to colour in more often. I know I've had a lot of requests for Mythomorphia, so I will get into that, but I really want to finish Worlds Within Worlds. Um, Fragile World, I need to colour a couple of pages in that. I just have to colour <laughs> because it's such an awesome book. And of course, next month, Joanna Basford's new book comes out, World of Wonder or Worlds of Wonder, or World of Wonders. Too many books with world in their title. I'm going to get so confused. Um, yeah, just send me some comments down below and let me know what you want to see. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you again soon. Bye for now.